either way, I do think it's going to be hard for any of them dudes to just clear cut past Deontay on a consistent basis because for him, now granted, he still has to keep working at being consistent in terms of the catching element, but that's the only thing that he's missing from being a number one receiver. You watch him versus AJ Terrell out there on Sunday, man. He was giving AJ all AJ wanted. That's all I'm saying. Now, granted, he dropped that. Yeah, I get you. If Kenny was targeting him a little bit more and actually like throwing that thing, like how we've seen the Ben AB connection, Deontay would have had stupid numbers because of his route running. Once again, man, the dude gets open, short, intermediate, deep. Deep. If my man Pat Frymouth can hold that block on Lorenzo Carter, your boy Kenny Pickett is dropping a 60-yard bomb to start this game off, bro. Pickett had it. it bro, he's looked, is locked in. It's beautiful, schemed up. Deontay cooked him. It's there. All it is is just put that ball out there. And he's cocking it, ready to go. And Pat you know just, that would have been accurate. Pat just don't hold it. Bro, it, he couldn't miss it. That's the other part. Because the defender, De- Deontay's already ahead of him. So Deontay's running away. You know the dude, next bro. question is. <laughs> Stop it. Nope. 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 I am not going there with you. Nope. Nope. No. Everything would have been perfect. The throw and the catch. Emphasis on the catch. Touchdown too, maybe? Yeah. At run after? He catches it as touchdown. Okay. Like, no, in all seriousness, like, the safety was gone. And Pickens on the other side, he was running a route where he had his guy with him, but the field was more condensed on that side. So I didn't like that throw to George. But he's going to DJ, man, to start this thing out. It's just like, dang, man, we need the protection there. And I was like, I see you, Matt Canada. I like the idea. I just don't like this protection idea. But love the shot play right here, man, because you had it. It was a Dak, bro. It just, I'm just thinking of how the game went and how the game could have went if that's the start. Because it was really like the third play of the game we dialed that play sure. up. Hell, and we Think, missed uh-huh. on the other Frymouth touchdown. Okay. I think it was the next yeah, draft pick. And then yeah. Deontay dropped the I'm like, drag bro, route. So that could like, have been back-to-back touchdowns, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, we... Combine that with the running we game. We had we something were doing nice on there. And that's the thing where I'm like... That's super not a candidate thing. Well, no. maybe on the protection, like you said. Maybe. The protection what, part. What could he have done different? Put Gentry there instead? I would either say Gentry there, or I would say instead of making it a one-on-one, Pat versus Lorenzo... Just make it a double. Pat is helping Dan Moore out against Lorenzo Carter. That's the only thing I would do, especially because you're telling him a shot play. A shot play just takes longer. If it's quick game, man, Pat can block that dude. If it's an intermediate route, Pat can block this. But this is one of them like, yo, you're going down the yard. We're going to put this ball up 50 yards. Like, I need you to sustain this block. So if you're not going to help him. Like, this one's going to shut right, some people up. Right. So I would even say, man, if you even release the running back that direction, to just make it easier on Pat. That's another thing that you can do schematically, but obviously this is after the fact. You know, going into it, it makes sense. Okay, could put Pat there because what? Everybody's going to think Pat's in the row. Sure. Everybody's going to think Pat's doing this. So if Pat's actually standing in the block, whoa, now we kind of got him off guard. That safety might be looking at him, and now you got Deontay behind the safety with the DB chasing. Is there. Problem was, Lorenzo won, and that's the beauty of defense, right? You don't always have to win as a DB if your rush is there. And you don't always have to win your rush if your DB can bail you out. And that was just one of the ones that it worked out for them in that case. Sometimes, what we say, sometimes better to be lucky than good. Yeah. They got lucky right there. Today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. The leaders in below the waistline grooming, Deke. And in fact, they have an awesome set of tools to use on your set of tools tools ha 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 in particular the lawnmower 4.0 where you're able to go over your dangly twins slow low whether you're in the water because it is waterproof or if you're at night because it does have a light that goes on and off wherever whenever it is there for your grooming needs for your personal hygiene needs along with all the other self-hair personal hygiene products that manscapes offer and we definitely love manscape because not only do they offer those good things but they even have a promo code for you guys to experience said offers. So, promo code is Moats. Use that. You get 20% off along with free shipping worldwide. So, shout out to Manscaped. 